In America, the people do that all the time. Yeah, there's there's somewhere, I don't remember where, where this is offensive. Yeah. Like, this is really well, offensive. Like, like, just conceptually, like, you're supposed to walk up in France and be like, Hello, my name is Sub. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I, my name is Pulse Iceman yeah. X. <laughs> Five seven four six. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to be like, "Hello, I'm Sup or whatever. Uh, I'm from, you know, the United States. Could you locate me to the nearest McDonald's?" You have to talk like that, really formal. And if you don't, it's like really offensive. Meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, these players, to, these players are trying to find the location of the next Grand Finals. Yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to offend each other. That's for sure. Loser semis. Oh yeah. Is this? Is where this junk's happening? Uh, Nam's cooking. Nam's been cooking all day. Yeah. No, Nam, Nam probably feels pretty good about beating Zenodo. Because uh, I feel like he'd be sad if he lost that matchup with how much he plays it. Not only that, but he would be like, man, I lost so early in this tournament because Zenodo got sent to losers. I mean, even if he lost to Zenodo's, did he? Sometimes Nam oh. just gets down on himself for like... I'm sorry, you beat him in winners. But yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Sometimes he'll even lose to like... Yeah, anyone he expects to... No, just anyone. Whenever he loses, he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, well, they, they, when Nam loses, he's just sad. He's just sad. Usually. usually and then when he wins, time. he's like still like, I could have done better. Yeah. Which is really a good mindset when you're trying to get better. Naruto, Nam. Ooh! That was really nice. That was weird that Nam didn't go to the ground, though. He just let himself go up. He really knew he got the hit there. He's like, I'm going to go up anyway. You can't punish this. You're gone. Smasher's follow-ups out of Dare, and even his spacing with Dare, like, yes. for whatever reason, the the hit he lands on, I feel like is different from just landing with the last hit. Ha! I agree. Actually, I was mentioning that earlier, how, like, he'll bait people out with down air. Yeah, and, and the way he spaces it so it hits the ground for more follow-ups. Oh, my gosh. That's so nice. But that was a, I don't want to say early stock, early 40 or stock, but cheap. Yeah. Uh, Scoobles really wet with your forward air. Come on. Yeah, Sheik's forward air can take your stock if you're not careful. Like, if you're careless trying to avoid the bouncing fish setups yeah. and the up air setups, she can catch your air dodge with the uh, with a forward air sometimes. Always got to be careful against Sheik. Oh, uh, let's trump, but Nam gets up with a get up, uh, get up jump, whatever. I forgot what it's called. I feel like Nam should have neared there because it would have led to potential follow But the Woo! forward air does give him stage control. Yeah, exactly. Stage control at these percent so crucial because you can get like that random kill off the ledge. Oh yeah, see there's no point for Nam to like force the kill at this point or even like threaten the kill. Especially when he's chic, all he Woo! needs to do is keep Smasher approaching. And like, yeah. eventually he will probably get it. Yeah, I, I mean you just have to look for the opening, you know. And with Sheik, there's a lot of openings you can get. There's one. There's Smashers. another one. There it is. Dead. Almost. Yeah, Smasher's getting out of that uh, prime kill percent for Sheik. That's a good one. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for not saying 50-50. Prime kill percent. Yeah, down throw. Yeah, because that at that point, it wasn't a 50-50 anymore. Right, yeah. It's not always a 50-50. No, it's not. It's percent based. Sometimes her down throw just won't kill you at all. Not just that, but there's like different things you can, you can uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Uh. Ooh, Ooh, got him! <laughs> With that uh, two frame snap to the ledge. Nam Best looks take. unfazed. Just As like, he okay. generally does. That is kind of big for Smasher though, because Nam's going to have a harder time finding the kill now without rage because he's still, oh, never mind. Uh, got him. <laughs> he's got still, him. he got him with fair twice. Yeah. Because there, even without Rage, Smasher still would have gotten out of the 50-50s and stuff like that. Okay, this is why we need to not call it a 50-50. You ready? Okay. Okay, so you get down throw. The Sheik is either going to wait or up air. Mm -hmm. But you have, you have, you can attack, which beats wait. You have air dodge, which can beat wait because they can screw it up or they could, like, go for an air. They could, like, bait something out. Or you can jump away, which, like, avoids other things. There's, like, there's, other, there's, like, other stuff you can do out of it. There's also... Wait air dodge, which is where you wait and then you, well, I mean, so that's like, right. that's another thing. You can jump what? air dodge, you can, it's not, it's, it's not as straightforward as it thinks. Right? But it's still like, there, in, in those situations, it's still like one of those hits will hit and one of them won't, depending on what you guess. It's just, there's more options. So I guess it's a 50-50 for the Sheik. 
but not a 50 for the other character? Does that I make mean, sense? She can wait, she can up air, she can up B. There's actually... that, that's true. There are different outcomes, but usually it's still like... One of two options will hit him, at least. I guess it's true. But... Ooh. 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 It's, it's an option limiting throw. Right. It's essentially No, yeah, it's a kill setup. Kills, I, I agree. Definitely kill setup. 50-50, eh. I mean, you could say, yeah, they jump throw, and you either hit it or you don't, but you could say that about, like, anything. I guess so. But it, it's... Whatever. <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to the match. If you notice, Smasher has switched to Mega Man, which is surprising because... I don't know, Smasher does like to switch characters when he's down, but this matchup, I I feel like Mega Man doesn't even do nearly as well as Mega Mario against do. Sheik. Because oh. Mega Man has needles problems. There, uh, Nam checked uh, Smasher's DI and hit him with the DI mix-up. Which is another, another, um, you know, another variable of that setup. Yeah, in the down throw. Down throw setup. Yeah. That's what it is. It's... A it's like, it's a coin flip. The guess of hitting is a coin flip, but the the outcome is potentially greater or worse. But uh, the, the chance of hitting them is a 50-50. I guess it's true. I guess I can see that. But you can optimize it past that if you predict them more. And there's also GI stuff. There, there's, yeah. there's, I feel like there's always too much to put into like something. In, oh, another forward air kill. That was Nam. super good. Cause that was yeah, he caught Smasher unshielding on the platform for a second. That uh, that setup that Smasher just did of the Metal Bladed hit, I think that would have been a free back air, unless he was facing forward. Oh, nice spacing on the forward air. That's so important with Mega Man, like especially against Sheik, like because she could just like either shield grab or like just like forward tilt out of shield. It's like, ooh, Metal nah. Blade. Yeah, I was holding onto that Metal Blade for dear life. Oh, I never thought of uh, Metal Blade to needles. I feel like Metal Blade Bouncing Fish might work. Maybe? Maybe. Probably distance dependent. It's a 50-50. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you either hit or you don't. Right? Unpunishable. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Landing back air. Gonna do it. Now I'm shaking his head a little bit, but he's back in it. Yeah, Mega Man's back air is so deadly. It's so good. Like, But, I mean, it's such a really, really, it's a really, really good move because it's disjointed. It comes out real quick. Um, you can like, you're in the air, Mega Man's like, just like, you can short hop it, throw it out. If it hits your shield on like a platform or something, you just back away and stuff. But, it's like his only kill move. His only reliable kill move, really. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm kind of surprised by is the fact, I just noticed that Smasher was the one that took Nam to Smash Bros. And I'm sure he has his reasons for that, but Sheik is very good on this stage. Yeah. I guess he's already won, or he's... They've already played on FD though, but I don't know why Smasher wouldn't just take him back to FD. He's the one playing, not me. Oh, up air almost actually like sending him off pretty high. Yeah, the the key to that is not jumping. Don't jump out of Mega Man's up air or you will die. And I'm actually air dodge there. Gets the balloon. Ooh, Fort Hill grab. Jamming it up. Up smash oh. for no reason. Yeah, Smasher <laughs> choked the punish there. Yeah, he did. I think you wanna like either. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That was oh my a gosh. good string. Oh, it no. may not be over. Invincible recovery, fairly strong. Yeah, I think there's only a one frame window between getting up and shielding, where you're yeah. vulnerable. Yeah, that's what I've heard, and that's what I'm mistaken too. I've heard it from several people. Ooh. Smasher, bringing it back. Now I'm struggling to find stage control. The Metal Blade, gonna send him off. Gets forward air though. More stage control, catches the Metal Blade up to, from the up air. Oh! <laughs> That was almost this, like this is fantastic. Oh, that was play. so good. Good near to bouncing fish. Gonna take it. 204 Nam. Gushy gaming nom. It was perfect hitbox on the on the nair to get it though. Oh, you want me to